Okay, this is the uh, default Endeavor in Orbit scenario. And basically what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna show to you that it's possible to deorbit right away from this point. I'm now doing a retrograde, re retrograde burn. We're now inside the uh, shuttle. As you can see, we are not in, in a nominal position for a deorbit attempt for KSC. However, I am going to show to you that it's actually still possible to land at the Kennedy Space Center in this orientation. It's going to be a very radical attempt, but we're going to do it. First things first. Okay, the retrograde burn was good. First thing we need to do is to burn because we're running out of time, so we burn. Okay, we're doing the deorbit burn. And now I'm going to um, press accelerated time so that we can save time. Okay, as you can see, our eccentricity is increasing, which means we're now dipping the orbit until we see the red line on the map. Red line is there. Okay, what you do is you move the red line until it's over Texas or uh, New Orleans okay there it is it's somewhere just a, a bit above the Gulf of Mexico and the second thing we need to do is to get off accelerated time go out in external view and stow away all the things that we need to stow like the arm and of course the uh, the antenna Control U. It's folding. And the arm is folding too. We're gonna do uh, an accelerated time to do that. Then don't forget Control X to stow. And once it's stowed, press K to close the doors. And we also do simultaneously a prograde burn. So we're oriented prograde towards the direction for EI or entry interface shell base closed back in cockpit zoom the map stop tracking scroll up we're still far away from the entry interface and I'm gonna show you what I do so that this orbital path would basically come over the cape KSC. Okay, we're in prograde mode. I'm going to get out of that and just orient the shuttle this way. As you can see, the heading carrot above the screen there is telling us that we're a long ways off from KSC, but that's okay. Now I'm just going to change over to the GPC MFD Ops 3. And as you can see, the shuttle icon is moving across the display. And our objective is basically just to keep it close to this profile. Even though we're actually going to go over it a bit, but that's not a problem. I'm going to orient myself this way because I'm going to do a hard, very very hard, bank style entry. So as we can actually shift our flight path towards the cave. Please forgive me because my joystick is a bit cranky. Okay, the sound has begun. We're starting the orbital interface. As you can see, I'm also pulling up a bit so we can save an altitude. As you can see the flight profile there. I, get, I got out of the accelerated time mode. shell has started to dip on the flight profile and that's a good sign but at the same time I'm trying to steer towards my right steer towards KSC okay I'm gonna go to accelerated mode again so as to uh, shorten the time here, as you can 
see no alarms yet <laughs> meaning we're still optimal it's still optimal <laughs> 